my wonderful people. Welcome to Arenga TV. Today, we're going to talk about our one mass wedding festival. This is marrying out a large number of maidens in a single day. The town shall in Moro local government area, Kwara State, Nigeria, is well known for a mass wedding with cultural and historical events where maidens of marriageable age are being married out in a single day. However, due to the curfew and protest in Nigeria, the Arenga TV crew couldn't make it to the mass wedding physically. But we sent one of our correspondents who happens to be a tour guide and a tour expert in Kwara State to help cover the event. Is in no other person than Omotosho Akim Olamelekon. He was able to cover some of the important uh, ceremonies that occurred on the festival day. Meanwhile, I have Olayinka Muidin, who is a tour guide an expert and a resident in Shao town. Yes, you need to hear, he has appeared and he has featured in one or two of our videos while we went on the Kwara State uh, uh, tour. So today is the one that is going to tell us more about Shao Amo Mass Wedding Festival. Enjoy it. Now is the D Day. Today is the D Day, the grand finale, the Amo Wedding Festival itself. This is the day we have all been waiting for. And we thank God that the day is here. After the, the other uh, activities we have been doing, we are here on the day to celebrate the Awan Mass Wedding Festival. As you all can see, look at the number of maidens that will be married out today. 27 of them will be going to their husband's house today. And this is a very important culture of the people of Shao. You cannot tell the history or the story of Shao and without mentioning this Awan festival because the festival is what defines the people, the people defines the festival. The people are the festival, the festival are the people. You cannot separate the people from the festival, nor you separate the festival from the people. <laughs> Hand in hand, the people and the festival. The people celebrate the festival. The festival are in the people. The day is here. The day we have all been waiting for. So many activities is what is being celebrated or what is being displayed on this fateful day, starting from the arrival of the important dignitaries. And uh, the most important person to be celebrated that very day is the Ohoro of Shao, the king of the community himself the king of the community is said kabisi oba dr bamidele adegbite is the ohoro of shao the king of the town he is the royal father of the day and all that invited dignitaries will also be trooping in because the festival is for all and sundries and even the festival the love of the people the passion of the people the preservation that has been done by the people of Shao did not just stop 
by saying only the traditionalists are celebrating the festivals. No. <laughs> been done in a relative house and the bridal costume is made up of asufi. Asufi. All the maidens that very day are expected to be in asufi. That is our traditional wear. Umbrella. Umbrella. It is very, very important. As you can see all of them, they're actually with their umbrellas. No maiden will be allowed to use an uh, to, to, to be there without an umbrella that very day. And if you are not a maiden, you are not expected to be with an umbrella that very day. Look at it, how beautiful that is. And it is a custom everybody is obeying, following the way it has always been. It's, as a maiden, you are expected to be with your umbrella. If you are not among the maiden, you are not expected to be with your, with your umbrella. And nobody is violating that custom. It is there already for everybody. Only the maiden are expected to be in their house be beautifully uh, prepared, you know, beautifully weaved, that you will see them, you will, they will look more adorable. More attractive and you wow yourself that yes, something is happening here today. They will also be with their umbrella, jewels, bangles, or inyo in Yoruba for the neck and the wrist. The accompanying persecution signifies brighter backgrounds as hunters, ifa, or professional professions or exploits of the people or the, the, the family of the groom is being is going to be and display that very day. Of these brother processions are the following excerpts. After these formalities, that is the, the dressing, the, the, the using of the umbrella, they are looking good, attractive and beautiful with their jewelry, their beads and everything. After all of this formality, the march to the market square begins. the meetings irrespective of their numbers are set to match to the market square at this time brides are not in a hurry at all they walk majestically like a bride they have that very day and don't forget when you are getting married your walking steps will be completely different that very day you are not in a hurry nobody is chasing you are not chasing any, you are not chasing anybody a bride you are expected to walk slowly beautifully majestically let your husband see you and you know, be looking at it that I am happy, I am gifted, I am delighted that this person is going to be my wife today. This slow match is known as Kikase Yawo, Kikase Yawo counting the bride steps because when the bride is moving, the intellectual ones among uh, those that are watching will be counting their footsteps, will be counting the leg, how they are, how many legs those uh, antisocial takes before she get to the market uh, square. How many legs and she to take before she get to the market square? So people are interested to know how beautiful you are going to walk to the market square. At the market square, each bride carries an umbrella and reciting the Ekunyao to bid farewell to spin out so that everybody in the community will know that yes, this person is among the, the brides. This person we will be getting married today. Ye, 
This person is going to her husband's house today. This maiden, she is no more single. So if you have been hiring her before or you have the intention without the knowledge that she will be getting married, that is a farewell to everybody. Family members, friends, people in the community that yes, Miss So 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 will become Mrs. Somebody. And that is how it goes. And the Ekoyawo itself is where they be farewell to their family members and parents. It is a prayer song or chant of the panegyric which is emotion laden and tunefully rendered. You, the Ekoyawo is not what just we just sing anyhow. It is systematic. You know, it is systematic and the, you, you have to make sure it is emotion laden and tunefully rendered. You, 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 you sing it out with a very good voice, a melodious voice, with emotions that, yes, I'm leaving my father, I'm leaving my mother. After so many things they have done for me, oh Lord, I will be leaving them today to another person's house. You will not be happy, not that you are sad, but don't forget, it is an emotion. It is an emotion with a very beautiful tone. It is a rendition of chant relating to their parental cognomen or ancestral exploit, which is very, very important. And after the Ekwe Yawo, the next thing that follows is the Awan dance. <laughs> Don't forget, all of this we are saying, starting from the bridal procession, whereby the, 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 the wife starts the plating of the hair, the Ekun Yao, and now to the Awan dance takes place on the D day, the grand finale, the, on the Awan day itself. And the Awan dance is usually performed by old women from Ibo and Alawan compound. Don't forget, these Ibo and Alawan are among the three high chiefs, including the Ajanki that I said earlier, who always pick the day for the festival, even after the consultation of 
Ifa. So these old women from the Igbo and Alawan compound, they will have been old women who have been married for the past 50, 60 years. Who knows the tradition? Whom during that time actually got wed, uh, got married through these uses of this uh, on the day of our festival. That is, they got married on the day of the festival. So they know the custom, the norms, what is expected, how it is being expected to be done. The Awan dance itself is mainly, mainly to celebrate the Awan festival. That is, to give you the dance steps that you will not be seeing every day. To give you the dance steps that you will not see elsewhere, only to celebrate the Awan festival. <laughs> used to take place two months after the Awan festival day. Don't forget, this dance always takes place two months, but there will be, but there will be uh, a, a preamble of such on that very day. There will be a preamble of such on that very day because people will not still come around after a few days to witness the, the dance itself. But there will be preamble they were going to give us in a very short time how it always used to be and how beautiful and why the dance steps are different from what we are known to be or what we can find in other areas what we can find in other areas that is what they do this the dance is performed amidst singing and drumming which are which are rendered in unique and synonymous rhythm the song is mainly ballads by its content, mainly ballads, and readily gives information about the town which cultural background. As you can see that, it's mainly ballads and give uh, a full information about Shao community and its rich culture. And its rich culture. That is what the Awan dance is all about. It tells us about the rich culture of the community. And after the Awan dance, the festivity is also heightened with performances from hunters as they chant and display as well as acrobats. The hunters will be there. Don't forget the, the hunters. The hunters actually uh, they established this community. So it is part and parcel of them to be hunters. Hunters are many in the community and they tend to display their powers. They tend to display their heritage. They tend to display their culture and with several acrobats being displayed by young, energetic and well-trained youth in the community. When trained youth in the community, that is what they do on this day. So this, the, the, the acrobat always ends the, the celebration of the day. But now, due to the development, the, there are other troops that come in too. There are other troops that come in from various states and the group within the state. Mainly, the uh, Quara State Art and Culture always have a troop every year to always celebrate this festival and provide a, a short play for the people in order to, to, end, to, 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 you know, to improve to improve on the festival and also to pass an information to them. Mom!